Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about how to make money on Upwork in 2023. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. So let's start off in asking why Upwork? Well, Upwork is a fantastic platform especially for beginners. It provides an opportunity to learn from successful entrepreneurs and work for them. You can gain valuable experience and insights that will set you on the path to success. Now let's talk about a crucial factor, being good at what you do. If you're an expert in a specific field, then that's great. But even if you're not, excellent communication skills can compensate for that. Remember, in business, you don't always have to be the one providing the service. Building relationship with clients is the key. This is how you can achieve consistent income by securing clients on retainers. Now to get started with your Upwork career, you need to sign up on Upwork if you haven't already. It is a straightforward process, just head over to Upwork's website, then create an account. This is your first step towards unlocking the potential to make money online. Now click on sign up, then you'll be redirected to a page asking if you're a client or freelancer. So click on I'm a freelancer, then apply. Now you'll see the sign up page, so you'll just need to fill in with the information that it needs. So as you can see, you have the option to continue with Apple or continue with Google, or you can fill in your first name, last name, email, and your password, and also you can choose which location you're based off. And then just tick off those boxes in there, and then you can click on create my account. Now you can see the dashboard, just click on find work, then profile. Your Upwork profile is your online resume, and it's essential to make it stand out. Starting with a lower hourly rate may seem counterintuitive, but it's a strategic move to build credibility. Positive reviews are the lifeblood of your profile, so focus on getting those early on. Now let's start off in updating your profile picture. So just click on here, and then you can attach or drop your photo. Just click on attach photo. On this part, clients will be able to see the total earnings and the total jobs that you have received already. And on this part, you can edit your title. So you can add a single sentence description of your professional skills or experience. So as you can see in here, I have appointment setter, call calling, data entry, video editor, and voice. So just click on save right after. Now on this part, you can click to change your hourly rate. So you can see the Upwork service fee and how much you will receive and just click on save. Beside on this, you can copy your link to the clipboard so that you can share your profile link to anyone. Now let's update your overview. In this point, you can describe your strength and skills, highlight project, accomplishment, and education, and you can keep it short and make sure it's error-free. Then click on save. Now here on the left side, you can add in a video introduction. You can edit the hours per week, your language, you can verify your ID, and you can also put in your education. Now you can also add a portfolio. Here on the portfolio, you can add in project title, related Upwork job if you have any, and the completion date onto that. So you can select a template, add details, and you can preview it and just click on save. Now back to the profile, you can scroll down more since there are a lot of options to optimize your profile. So you can add in a project catalog, so you can just manage projects in here, or you can add in a testimonials or certificates. Then you can also add in your employment history over in here and the other experience that you've had. And now since your profile is set up, let's go and find work. Finding jobs on Upwork is your next step. So let's look for fixed pricing jobs, especially if you're just starting out. Let's say you want to be a video editor. Search for video editor and apply as too many as possible. Remember, it's always about building up your profile. This is your opportunity to gain experience and get noticed. From here, you'd be able to see the different video editing jobs that Upwork offers. So you could skim through it so that you'd be able to see something that you'd like. Now here onto the left side, you'd be able to see the filters on Upwork, which can help you narrow down job results to find opportunities that best match your skills and preferences. So onto the filter, you'd be able to see in there the search bar, wherein it will help you find a category or a subcategory for jobs. The filter also includes job type, budget, client info, experience level, client history, the job posted, proposal counts, freelancer type, location, hours per week, and more filters. So after applying the desired filters, you'll be able to see the list of jobs that match your criteria. Using filters on Upwork can help you save time and find opportunities that are more relevant to your expertise. 
Remember to customize your proposals for each job and showcase how can you provide value to the client based on their specific needs. Now we've come to the most important part in making money on Upwork, and that is applying for a job. So as you can see, we have chosen already a video editor job in here. So when you click onto it, you'd be able to see the different job details that they offer. So you'll just need to skim through it so that you'd be able to see what they are looking for and just click on apply now. On this part, this is where you'll need to submit a proposal. So you can see the proposal settings in here. How much proposal does it require? So you'll just need to scroll down as well so that you'd be able to see again the job details. You can do a quick review again just to be sure onto what they are looking for and if you've made them. And also here you can see the terms. So onto this part, you can put it in here. How much early rate do you prefer and how much you will receive? Onto this part is the cover letter. So a cover letter on Upwork is a written introduction and proposal that freelancers submit along with their job application to clients who have posted projects or job listings on the platform. So this serves as a way for freelancers to introduce themselves, highlight their skills and relevant experiences. So the importance of this is this serves as your first impression on making a potential client. So it's your opportunity to showcase your professionalism, communication skills and enthusiasm for the project. Also, a well-crafted cover letter allows you to tailor your pitch to each individual project. So in essence, a cover letter on Upwork is your opportunity to make a strong case for why you're the best candidate for this job. Cover letter depends on to every job posting. So as you can see in here, this one is quite different because there are certain questions that you need to answer for you to proceed. Since this is a video editing job, so it asks you on your skill level in using Premiere Pro. So as you can see on the lower part, it also asks you for your availability over the next six weeks, when you can start, and have you ever done any sewing, how can you keep track of the detailed task, and also you can upload in this part the attachments if you have any project files that can serve as a sample, so you can drag or upload it in here. Scroll down a little bit more and you can see boost your proposal. So this is a feature on Upwork that allows freelancers to increase the visibility of their proposals to clients. So when you boost your proposal, it gets prioritized and appears higher in the list of proposal that the clients receive for a particular job posting. So this is designed to enhance your chances of being noticed by clients and potentially getting more opportunities to win projects. But keep in mind that boosting your proposal doesn't replace the importance of a well-written personalized proposal. So make sure to be honest and make sure to review your proposal so that it aligns with the job that it needs. Once it's done, just click onto the green button onto the lower part and this will submit your proposal. And that's it. That's all you need to know onto how to make money on Upwork in 2023. So you'll just need to remember the case steps, which is signing up, building a strong profile, and consistently finding jobs to grow your income. By focusing on those elements, you can position yourself for success on Upwork. Thank you very much for joining us today. So if you've liked this tutorial, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and until next time, best of luck onto your journey to success.